Welcome back guys. We got the head back from getting cleaned and resurfaced. So let's go ahead and get this valve train in. So I left myself a note so I can orient the head correctly because I wasn't sure how long the head shop was going to have the head. Um, this way I could ensure that I get the valves back in the same holes that I lapped them in. Got some assembly lube to put a little bit of lube on the stems to get them in easily. And uh, I'll put some paper towels on the valve faces once they're in and then put a strip of tape across so I can flip it over and that'll keep the valves pressed up against the head while I'm installing the springs and retainers and protect them from hitting the table. I got this full gasket set, so let's go ahead and get the new valve stem seals on. So this is the valve stem seal. I'm using this socket to push it down over the valve and snug it up securely against the valve guide. So we have the valves in, all the stem seals in, and now what's left is to finish putting the springs and stuff in. So the spring just drops in. Cap. And then set up the valve spring compressor. Like that, the little bit of assembly lube that's on the valve holds those uh, retainers in place. And just know that it was done 23 other times. This is the valve spring compressor I'm using. I picked it up off Amazon for, I think it was about 130 bucks. Uh, if I'm not feeling lazy, I will find the Amazon link and post it in the description. But it's really nice because it, it threads down and it holds tension, so both hands are free to uh, use tools or whatever you need to get the valves in place. Um, I picked up this tool also off Amazon. Um, to, it's supposed to hold the uh, spring retainers, whatever they're called, and then press over the valve and put them in place all at the same time. But um, didn't really work out like I thought it would. I got it to work on one and it, I just had much, much better luck with the magnetic screwdriver and a piece of welding rod. Just in case I can't find the link for the valve spring compressor, uh, this is it right here if you want to look it up on your own. Um, the next step is to load up the engine hoist in the back of the truck, drive around to the front garage and grab the short block bring it back in here. Alright, so here it is. Just gonna have to figure out how to get it from here into there. And then back into the shop. So wish me luck.
So we successfully got the short block in here. Um, it was a little sketchy. I'm sure you guys were cringing watching the whole time. But all's good. Nothing happened. So uh, set the head on here. I'm going to call it a night. Uh, next video you guys will see will be uh, the final assembly of the motor, meeting the parts of the trans, and then putting it in the car.